Artificial intelligence on Upwork. A freelancer's new best friend or just another buzzword? I spent an entire week immersed in AI on the platform to give you the real deal on what Upwork's AI is all about. I literally just read what Upwork AI told me to say in this intro, but let's let past me actually explain you what this video is all about. In my own words. Friday the 16th, Upwork introduced a new Freelancer Plus membership. And this new membership comes with a uh, hundred connects per month. They also up the price so it's now 20 instead of 15, but it also comes with Upwork Chat Pro, a new AI app powered by OpenAI's GPT-4. And I thought, why not try this? Let me record the screen actually <laughs> to show you. All right, so here it is. Membership plans currently. We have the basic 10 free connects. Black connects as you need for 15 cents each. Hourly protection, fixed price payments, blah, 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 blah. What you probably have. And then we have the plus. 20 bucks per month includes everything in basic. I would hope so. And 100 connects total per month. Upper chat pro, like I just said. View competitor bids for any jobs, weekly office hours with an Upwork coach. I believe I tested this in the other video that I did. So go check it out if you haven't yet. You also get access to the Freelancer Plus group. You get to skip the line for Upwork skill certifications and enjoy a 0% serious fee when you bring new clients to Upwork. And then they have this drop down thing. Customize your profile, keep your profile active even when you take a break. But if you are active, what's the point of paying? Keep your earnings private, which I also, I see the point, but I also don't. <laughs> that would be a whole other video. And you get to build your brand. Uh, that sounds like Lemmy with a custom profile URL. But let's just upgrade this and see what we get. I wish I had a promo code. Connect you'll receive today, 94. Why would I? Hmm. I don't know. But so let's just activate this, end up with 130 connects. Woo, I'm rich. Okay, let's try to figure out what this Upwork AI thing is all about. If I could find it, that would be fun. You just sold me on something that I can't figure out how to get there. I would assume it would be easier. I'll come back when I find it. The funny thing is, like, not even that long ago, they didn't want you to use AI for proposals and stuff like that. Okay, I literally can't find it. They have free codes. That would have been nice. Okay, unlock AI powered features. Upper Chat Pro uses insights from Upwork, data, 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 whatever. So you can get relevant responses and recommendations tailored specifically to you and your work. By using Upwork with AI, you're agreeing that your data may be used to enable and improve AI-powered features. You can change change this preference at any time. Let's see. How often do you use AI chat experiences for work like ChatGPT or Google Bard? I actually haven't tried Bard. I heard good things. I want to say often because I'm sure some people use it more than me, but sometimes. Here are a few things to know. Check in with all your clients. Make sure that all tools you use in your work, including AI tools, are appropriate for your contract. Yes, I actually have a client that um, is super into using AI, so uh, this may be cool for that. Ensure accuracy, obviously, and understand the data sharing. Your information will be shared with OpenAI, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's get to work. How can I help you today? Analyze social media metrics, measure ROAS for ad campaigns, research trending hashtags, design social media graphics. Actually, I'm working with the UGC, UGC thing uh, later this week. So I'm doing more recording for, for a brand. So let's see what this is about. Creating UGC can be a great way to engage with your audience. You can apply some various strategies and ideas tailored to you. Provide more information about your niche target audience and the goals you have for your UGC campaign. Okay, I'm doing a video for a brand that sells a soap gadget for your shower that is travel and eco-friendly. Can you give me some ideas 
for this video. Let's see. Day in the life, a little person using the shelf gadget, positioning on the go. I like that. I quite like this. Before and after setup, the traditional method. I like that as well. A tutorial and demonstration. Sustainability focus. We like testimonials. Unboxing experience. Can I copy this actually? Okay. I'm going to copy this into a note. I'm going to say, let's do a mix of numbers one and two. Can you give me an outline for the video? Really like this. This just got done for me the biggest task that I have for today. <laughs> Not even joking. So let's see. I'm just going to copy and paste this. I'm not going to read through all of this because I kind of have to leave it a bit. First impression, I kind of like it. Maybe tomorrow I will film asking it for different things. Okay, real quick. I just wanted to <laughs> share this as well because I just saw that I got this email confirming that I upgraded to Freelancer Plus and it's saying the things I can do to make the most out of my membership. But it's also telling me that these are limited perks until September 30th, huh? 2023. I hope they mean 2024 or else it will be weird. So the weekly coaching office hours are apparently until September 30th. The personalized coaching, 0% service fee, get access to the group, skip the lines and attend exclusive events. I wonder what they're going to change, but. I'll tell you when I know. All right, so today I want to try a different thing. Yeah, I just read about like the different things that GPT-4 can do. And I saw this one, analyzing the competition. So let's say I'm working for a client that sells, now this one will be a funny one, fart filtering underwear. Can you generate a list of the strengths and weaknesses of our main competitors, especially when it comes to marketing and social. Not sure if this will be too complex, but let's see. Okay, so it seems to be giving me like a how-to rather than the solution to my problem, which makes sense, but I was hoping for more. This would be helpful if you didn't know how to do competitor research. I'm still going to save this because I like it. And I know Upwork only keeps, I believe, 90 days. I gotta think of a different way to use this. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I just thought of something that might be interesting for all of you. So let's say I'm a beginner freelancer and I'm offering Let's go with the typical one, social media management. Can you write my Upwork profile overview copy? Let's see. And then I want to try with a proposal. Actually, I may want to do a separate video on this. Maybe using this in a particular case. Let's see. I really like this actually from what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, it's telling me even, remember this is a generic template, so you should adjust it to include specific accomplishments, tools, certifications, sentence or two about what motivates you. I love this. And again, <laughs> gonna open up a notes thing and I'm gonna save this for later. Let me know if you'd like to see a video where I maybe use this for one of your profiles or where I kind of critique this template. But let me try with proposal. Let's find a job post to apply to. Interesting. Cheerful female content creator for TikTok. Two new videos per month. Large catalog of content created for Instagram that can be re-edited for TikTok by adding voiceovers and explainers. Let me see what the brand's all about. Wild though, I love this. Okay, I'm definitely applying to this after. Let me test this first. Open up in a new window and I'm going to copy and paste this. Can you write me a cover letter, a submit in my proposal? 
do this job. I don't know if it understands links as an upper chakra. Okay, so it's giving me, ew, ugh. Okay, no, I, I don't like that. It's too formal, like typical job. What if I copy and paste the actual job? I thought it might have that limitation. I just wanted to try it. Okay, so can you cover the letter? Absolutely, awesome. Okay, I think this is quite long. So I'm actually going to ask it to please make it more friendly and conversational tone. I'm already loving this so much more. I love the hey there, the exclamation marks, the buzzing with ideas. I love this. Okay. Feel free to add any specific achievements or personalize it to better respond to your style. Honestly, I love this much, much more. I'm actually going to, once again, copy and paste this. I need to save this. This is great. Tomorrow, I may try this with a blog post for another client. Okay, so it's the next day. Sorry if you can see me. I have a needy cow with me today. Hey, Tristana, thank you for covering the entire camera. But today, we're going to be creating a vlog for that client that sells fart filtering underwear. So, my client sells fart filtering under oops i'm the queen of typos can you give me and i always like to ask for more ideas than what i need so i'll ask for 10 blog post ideas for them okay science behind fart filtering social implications of fart filtering Farty foods. I believe they've covered some of it. I'm going to go with number one because I don't want to do the research that's involved in number two, to be honest. So let's go with number one. Can you write a blog post on that? Let's see. Let's open it here. And what I'm going to do actually, because I think this should be good, so I'm going to edit a bit and send to my client, but what I'm gonna do as well to make it even more valuable is, great, can you give me 10 social posts from that blog post? We got one for Twitter, <clears throat> Max, a Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest post, Instagram story poll, Tweet with a quote. I like this. They're smart. I knew GPT-4 was meant to be smarter, but this shows rationalizing and thought processing and stuff like that, and it's creepy as hell. But I'm not gonna say it surprised me because it didn't, because I'm not surprised by AI anymore, but it's super cool nonetheless. All right, so that was my week testing out Upwork's new AI feature. As I mentioned throughout the video, I have done another video where I fully explore Upwork's paid membership. So I'll have it linked right here so you can watch that next and I'll see you there.